Preparing for this exhibition, um, I was I, w I was kind of a little bit um, just, you know, kind of a little bit blind going into it. I knew what I really wanted was something big and bold. And I love big paintings. So um, I, I knew I really wanted to go absolutely outside of my comfort zone, outside of the range of anything that I've done before. Having a studio, having, um, you know, a grant for materials and everything, I was able to build all of my um, canvases here, which was absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I knew I just really wanted something really big and something that just made people walk in and say like, wow. I think that by exhibiting my work, I definitely got um, just a better sense of how, how exactly I might go about it um, for, you know, upcoming exhibitions. I might not paint painting so big <laughs> because um, what's, now that I, I have them here, I also realize travel, it's really limited <laughs> when you have paintings that are five feet by seven feet or seven feet by seven feet. I mean, like Sienna, um, my, my big painting out in, in the hallway, Daughters of Joy, they've never seen the light of day because they probably won't be able to fit through the door. Thinking a little bit more about um, size, um, and thinking a little bit more about um, just also, you know, people who might be interested as well in the paintings because um, because they're so big. I mean, I don't unless you have like a really uh, like a mansion. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you're putting certain some of these paintings. <laughs> so that that was a lesson learned. <laughs> Something that I absolutely um, appreciated just learning was that I need to make space for my work to be appreciated and um, not just have a whole bunch of things like everywhere, just really just have space for people to really take it in. And um, that allowed me to I just look at the exhibition space a little bit clearer and you know especially once the work was up then I was able to also see like okay well maybe I can put something here and put something here just like you know little things that complement the room but then don't take it over too much. I think what really separates my work from other portrait artists um, well I think for one is the 3D aspects. I mean there are a lot of people doing it, but not that many people doing it. And I think that um, those 3D elements really break the, the third wall between the person and the painting. You know, you really are just, you're, you're kind of experiencing, it's like coming right back out at you, which is really cool. And I really love that um, part of it. And then also the smiles, because I've just noticed a lot of people just don't paint smiles you know but I, I i won't lie teeth and gums are very tedious to paint so i can completely understand it however i do i love i absolutely love smiles and i think people really resonate with it a lot um especially the teeth because i always make sure that their teeth arrangement is just something um it's it's different and um i like to just include you know whatever kind of, you know, seemingly imperfections that, you know, people have, may have with their teeth. A lot of people don't like, you know, the fact that they have a gap or, you know, teeth cross or something like that. I think that it's, it's, it's all beautiful. Like everybody's smile is beautiful. And I really like to just appreciate and highlight just the different types of smiles that everybody has.